So hooray, we are just back on the previous side where we can choose the, uh, the, the uh, uh, different uh, data sets. Okay, and you can just move a little bit down and so on. You can see weekly mean data. You choose them. Okay, just click on that button again. Hooray, weekly mean. And what we come up with is, is exactly the same interface. And for this interface here, again, you have to choose the right dimensions. Okay, and you have to now, you can choose weeks. For example, oop, sorry, if you are, let's go here, like 90, 98, okay, choose the first week from the 1st of January. You have to work that a little bit out with your calendar to the 7th of January. All right? 7th of January. And you scroll down and you indeed you change again, plate on a white plot on a white background, change the contour range, choose a contour interval until you're happy and create a plot. And by the way, with the screen chart you can even save your plots. Okay? You can put them into a Word document. All right. Okay, so the, these are the instructions. And so now going back to the PowerPoint slide, and what you then do is you create a table like this. Yeah. You write down the weeks, okay, the dates of the weeks, the sea surface temperature that you take from the graph, and then you simply subtract the climatological mean. Okay, in this case, 28.7 degrees. And then you can see here are anomalies on the right hand side. For each week, you have some times when it's a negative number, the temperature is below the reference temperature. And then you have times where you have a buff. And these are our focus here, the temperatures that are above. All right, so this is how you work out the hotspot. Okay, the hotspot value.